this particular subject fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine which is a part of third semester mechanical and you can see there is a subject code for bput and myself i will be teaching this particular subject i uh, almost all of you know me michael b primas rao associate professor from department of mechanical engineering uh, in your college and most of you know me so let me go through this particular uh, syllabus i hope you can see the next slide also so that totally the syllabus that you have in this particular fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine which is a very very important subject with reference to mechanical engineering student civil engineering student branches ame odu sir Am I audible to you now? Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Yeah. So this particular, yeah, this particular subject. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, it is uh, uh, very much important to do three branches of uh, engineering. Uh, that is, uh, what I'm trying to say is, okay, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and uh, one more, uh, that is the chemical engineering. So these are the three branches. Uh, which is much more important to so this particular this particular subject is much more important now what is actually the uh, necessity of studying this particular subject now in as you can see in the syllabus totally we have uh, five modules in this particular subject so don't be frightened sir five modules how we can complete or that or not and uh, don't worry about that and this particular subject it is Uh, concept conceptual oriented that means your concepts should be clear uh, then uh, you are actually the theoretical uh, as well as uh, problematic uh, subject this particular subject is and you will find much more interesting as the subject is uh, going on now you can see in this particular module 1 it is totally based on introductory part Uh, the different terms uh, which you will come across uh, like uh, density specific gravity specific volume specific weight surface tension which are totally related to fluid fluid mechanics so which uh, you will come across these that particular kinds of words that is the density specific gravity specific weight specific volume these kind of words you are going to get it in and around in every particular class so you should know actually the main concept behind these particular parameters okay so we'll be studying about all these things in the introductory part then in module 1 we have one more thing that is the fluid statics now you have you know basically i have studied engineering mechanics mechanics is divided into two types you all of you know static and dynamic now there is a body we assume that all bodies are rigid bodies rigid bodies means they do not deform okay you understand what is the deformation now in engineering mechanics you have two things one is static one is dynamic now presently you all of you are sitting at one place and listening my class that means your your body is at rest your body is at rest that means that particular thing is called as static Now, if I say you please go out of the go out of your room and come back in, that means you are in the state of motion. That is called dynamic. Similarly, fluid mechanics also can be termed as fluid statics. Fluid static means there is a fluid which is static in nature or which is stagnant. In your home, you are finding uh, you are finding that there is a particular uh, Uh, what i can say water filter i think everyone has water filter or you can say there is a container where water is stored in that case the water is stagnant in nature that means it is not at all moving okay now that is called fluid statics okay that means the uh, now 
when you go to an ocean when you go to a river okay where the uh, fluid or the water the fluid is moving here and there okay suppose you are switching on uh, or you are uh, rotating the tap of your bathroom where the water is flowing in that case it is fluid dynamic okay similarly as in case of uh, engineering mechanics where we consider for a particular body dynamics is again subdivided into kinematics and kinetics so then there again you know what is kinematics and what is kinetics what is kinematics are you all there yes sir i i hope you are understanding yes sir yeah now you are sitting in one place now when i try to push you out of the room you all are moving away when i try to push you you are in motion okay that means this particular study where i am pushing you or pulling you out of the room out of your room bedroom or living room then your body is in motion then that is called dynamics now if you consider the force you see you are not going by yourself i am pulling you or pushing you out of the room okay if i am applying 50 newton force to pull you or push you if you consider that particular 50 newton force if you consider that 50 newton force that means you are considering the force which is responsible for the motion of the body if that force you consider then that study is called as kinetics and if you do not consider the force which is responsible for the motion of the body if you do not consider the force then that particular study is called as kinematics just recall in kinematics okay i already told you that tanmay das is in but i request all of you you please be in time from next class okay this is for first time and last time warning now as i already told you uh, what i was saying uh, where was i yeah if 50 newton force is required to move your body from outside the room if i am pulling you or pushing you okay if that particular force if you are considering if you are considering the force it is called kinetics if you are not considering it is called kinematics let me give you three things p equation s is equal to ut plus half at square everyone knows v square minus u square is equal to 2 v square 2 okay and v is equal to u plus at yeah, in, in these three equations you are not at all finding any uh, parameter that is force you are not at all finding because you see uh, there, there may be a doubt in your mind sir i i cannot move myself outside the room okay no doubt but somebody is if somebody is pushing you okay uh, if you you don't consider that force you see somebody is pushing or pulling you you are not taking into account that particular force while solving a particular problem of dynamics if you are not considering that f capital f that is force then that is called kinematics that is why you are not finding that word f in these three equation of kinematics that is s is equal to u to the half into square v square minus u square is equal to 2as v is equal to u plus at but if you want to consider that is kinetics of kinetics means you are considering the force that means the force that is responsible for the motion of the body similarly we have fluid kinematics you can see in module 2 okay i am not going into the in depth presently we have in fluid kinematics we we will try to read about reynolds number then uh, uh, continuity equation then uh, the problem problems comes here potential function stream functional very very easy okay you will find very interesting also all the problem see uh, at most i will try to make your concepts clear in fluid mechanics such that you can solve any kind of problem in fluid mechanics and this is very 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 interesting and important subject for mechanical engineers okay now next is 
fluid dynamics. Okay, in uh, fluid dynamics, you study about uh, as already I told you, fluid uh, kinematics means here uh, kinematics means we are not at all considering the force which is responsible for the motion of the body. Now, let me ask you a very simple question. Water, I think most of you in your house, you have borewell. Borewell means uh, water is, uh, you are actually digging from the ground level. So that water, you are sending it to the water tank, overhead tank, which is there in the house. That is, sorry, in the topmost floor of your house, overhead head tank, what I'm talking about. How actually you are uh, sending the water, which is in the ground level, inside the ground to that overhead tank with the help of a motor. And that motor is actually providing or it is giving the force to the water to go to the upper level overhead tank. I hope you are understanding. Now, that particular force, if you are not at all considering it while solving a problem, then that particular study of movement of that particular water or fluid is called as fluid kinematics. That is what I am saying. And we will study in third module, we have fluid dynamics, uh, which is again uh, much more important and uh, very what important as well as uh, interesting. Like Bernoulli's equation is there, uh, Euler's equation will study, streamlining equation. Okay. Now, at this point of time, uh, you will be, you are in a hazy state that, sir, what actually you are saying, we are very new to this subject. Don't worry. Uh, all these things we will study in detail. I am only giving you the introduction of all those things. Then, in the uh, first three modules, is totally dependent on fluid mechanics. Then module 4 and module 5 is totally about hydraulic machine. Okay. Uh, here we will study about impact of jets, uh, hydraulic turbines. I think you have seen in your college in the uh, fluid mechanics laboratory, there, is, uh, there are different types of turbine like, uh, what you can say, uh, Pelton wheel turbine, Francis turbine is there, Kaplan turbine is there. Uh, okay, these are all the things we will study in detailed and we will uh, do uh, in, uh, in almost all the modules you have problems. Uh, we will try to solve problems. We will try to clear, I will try to clear the concepts of each and every particular concept again and again and saying if your concepts are not clear, you can, we cannot proceed ahead. You will not understand anything. Uh, I will try to clear the concept by giving simple of the simple example which you are using in your day-to-day -day life. Okay. After 20 minutes. Uh, please be on time, all of you. Satyanara and you have come now. So, I hope you can see the slide, all of you. Can you yes, see sir. the slide, all of you? Yes, sir. Why I'm saying to come in time because when I, when I again uh, go out of this uh, presentation and allow someone else, some people cannot see this presentation. That is the disadvantage of Google Meet. That is why I'm saying to come on time, all of you. So next is impact of jets, the reaction turbines. These all things we study. Okay, as I told you, concepts is very much important. I request all of you at any point of time. If you are not at all understanding, sir, I have not understood the concept. I will give specific examples, very, very interesting examples. The examples uh, which you have come across in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, you, ha you, ha you, have seen, you have seen those examples. If, if you can go through, if you can understand those examples, then you can never forget the concepts of fluid mechanics. Not only that, you try to correlate any concept, whether it is mechanics of solids, mathematics, any anything you try to organizational behavior which you are studying this semester, anything you try to correlate with other with your day-to-day -day life example, you will see that you will never forget in your life that particular concept. Okay. The last module is we will study about uh, is the different types of pumps. That is the centrifugal pumps, the reciprocating pumps. The how actually. Under what principle it is working, 
then we will study about uh, uh, the what is the work done and all those things okay now uh, these are the total five modules you have uh, don't worry sir these five modules can be completed or not and you can see uh, whatever is there uh, is shown there it is the syllabus and the syllabus you can see these are the books which you have to follow now at this particular present situation i i know you don't have mo most of you you don't have the books with you uh, don't worry uh, notes will be given to you uh, ultimately this uh, particular video is already uh, i will share with you uh, in in the form of a youtube channel okay uh, at the end of the class i give the uh, the link for the channel uh, if you want to prepare the notes the best way is after the class maybe on the same day itself okay you can prepare the notes by seeing the video also okay that you can do it but still if you are facing any difficulty you can ask you can ask me okay can you see yes sir all of you this module 1 can you see all of you yes yes sir is it boring yes sir no sir are you feeling boring okay now in this first class it will be little bit uh, but listen carefully uh, now this fluid mechanics actually uh, as i already told you this is a very interesting and uh, uh, exciting and fascinating subject okay where we will try to learn different practical applications uh, ranging maybe practical applications uh, in the field of uh, automobiles uh, airplane aeroplane spacecraft you see wherever you go if you go to an automobile industry uh, where they are designing this particular engine uh, their fluid mechanics will come into picture when you go to a uh aeroplane industry aeroplane industry means we can we don't say aeroplane industry it is aviation industry there the concept of fluid mechanics is there you go to isro I, I, everybody know what is isro indian space research organization there the concept of fluid mechanics scientists are using so fluid mechanics is playing a very very uh, much more important role Uh, for mechanical engineers for civil engineers and chemical engineers these three engineers uh, this particular subject is much much more important that is why i am saying to please take care of this particular subject now sir fluid mechanics and engineering mechanics are they somewhat related yes they are somewhat related in engineering mechanics in in, sec in second semester uh you are you are almost i know very simple concepts were there and with the help of calculator scientific calculators uh, you are all uh, prob solving the problem or you are trying to analyze the analyzing the problem okay but in case of uh, fluid mechanics uh, it requires much more concept oriented that is why fluid mechanics is uh what you can say branch oriented you can say specifically it is to mechanical engineer civil engineer third semester your your friends are also studying this fluid mechanics same uh same whatever that i am teaching you uh, from civil engineer staff is teaching them okay so in this particular uh, fluid mechanics uh, proper analysis of the particular problem should be done if proper analysis is not done it is much more difficult to solve the problems of fluid mechanics okay so in order to uh, solve the problems of fluid mechanics uh, your concepts should be much more clear okay now uh, what i am uh, trying to say you here is Uh, this particular uh, subject the object you can see uh, we will start module 1 uh, by the end of the module uh, you will you will know the concept of uh, uh, why actually you are studying fluid mechanics and 
its a development as a science then we'll study different physical properties of a fluid like density specific gravity what is specific weight specific volume surface tension capillarity all all these things whatever and the fluid statics pressure pascal's law what is manometer what is gauge pressure vac vacuum pressure uh, atmospheric pressure absolute pressure i think you you have some idea about the pressure in uh, basic sub mechanical engineering i think in first semester you might have studied or maybe in second semester also that subject is there okay pressure is there atmospheric pressure absolute pressure these all different concepts like buoyancy flotation you might have seen actually why the slip is floating okay it is by the principle of buoyancy now uh, by the principle of flotation and archimedes principle all these all these things we will study in detail so this is uh, whatever you can see in this particular module uh, after completion of this particular module you you will be able to know the concepts of all these particular things which you are going to see in the screen so the overall basic idea which i am trying to tell you he here is we are trying to cover the basic principles and equations of fluid mechanics and i will try to present before you uh, different and uh, diverse different and diverse means different kinds of real world engineering examples uh, to give you a feel actually how fluid mechanics is used in engineering See, unless you do not know why i am studying this particular subject okay if i am studying this subject where i am going to apply my knowledge or my concepts of fluid mechanics in which field i have to apply and if we do not know how to apply it it is unnecessary to study this subject okay so basing on that particular line only totally this semester i am going to teach you this particular in this semester i am going to teach you this particular subject so basing on that particular line only so the basic idea here is uh, to create a better understanding of this particular subject and you, we will see that there are some concept which you have already studied in physics in your class 12 okay and uh, i'll try to show you with some uh, examples like some uh, what you can say uh, some different pictures some different videos i'll show you related to this particular subject such that uh, i'll try to create an interest in the subject such that uh, uh, you won't uh, face any kind of problem while understanding the particular concept can you see this slide all of you yes sir yeah now i am going in, in, into this particular uh, what you can say uh, the module that is introduction uh, scope of fluid mechanics and its development as a science you can go through that particular what i am saying is uh, uh, your syllabus uh, this is the first topic introduction the first topic i have written here now i cannot directly jump into the subject as i already told you that is why the last half an hour i was teaching you the importance of fluid mechanics now what is fluid mechanics now fluid mechanics is you know already what is mechanics mechanics is that branch of science which deals with a body which is at rest or which is at motion now you are sitting at one place and listening my class that means your body is at rest if you are moving out of if you are moving here and there your body is in motion you assume that you are a fluid you understand fluid you assume that you are water you assume you are petrol you assume you are kerosene you assume you are diesel petrol is suppose it is in static nature if petrol is flowing when you are filling your uh, what you can say fuel tank of your uh, two wheeler when you are going into a petrol station 
in that case when the petrol is coming into the petrol tank there the petrol which we consider as a fuel it is in motion okay so whenever a fuel i'll say you what is fuel a fuel whenever it is in rest whenever it is in motion we say that is fuel mechanics very simple it is the branch of science that will that deals with the body okay with the study of fluids and again there may be a doubt in your mind sir what is fluid now we are basically concentrating on this particular subject that is fluid mechanics fluid mechanics is what it is a branch of science which deals with the study of fluid and again there is a doubt in your mind sir what is fluid fluid can be a liquid fluid can be a gas you know there are three states of matter solid liquid gas okay study of solid when the when the body is solid in nature when it is at rest when it is at motion we have already studied that is engineering mechanics and uh, the advanced engineering mechanics also you are studying now in third semester that is mechanics of solid are you studying or not mechanics of solid okay so are you there all of you yes sir yeah mechanics of solid that means solid mechanics which you are talking about now here fluid mechanics that is a different subject where uh, we are studying about uh, solid mechanics and here we are studying fluid mechanics that is liquid mechanics and gaseous mechanics okay so that comes under fluid mechanics so as i already told you very simple mechanics means when the body is in state of rest or motion fluid mechanics means it deals with the study of fluids which is in the state of rest or motion i hope you have understood whenever a fluid is whenever a fluid is in the state of rest or motion that simple study is called as a fluid mechanics and as already i told you that this this is a particular subject important subject for mechanical civil and chemical engineering and the various branches of fluid mechanics are which we are going to study in this semester under fluid mechanics is fluid statics fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics okay so these are the three things which we are going to study here in this particular semester that is under the head fluid mechanics hydraulic machine is again different thing hydraulic machine is last two modules and fluid mechanics is first three modules so that is why the subject is fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine but in fluid mechanics we are mainly concentrating on fluid statics fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics so these are the three things which you are going to study i hope you all of you are getting yes sir next next slide is i think you can see uh we have studied in the last slide what is fluid mechanics it is a branch of science where a fluid that is liquid or gas is it is in a state of rest or state of motion now the next is uh, uh, what is actually a fluid okay now this is a question uh, which you will be expected which you are going to expect in almost all the uh, what you can say interviews that is what is a fluid if you are not able to say that what is a fluid then uh, they actually uh, it is a shame on your part being a mechanical engineering you should not say that fluid is water the fluid is liquid and gas no a substance that flows you understand what is flow water water you take it in a water bottle and you try to pour it on the floor the floor of your house that means the water is flowing there that means any substance i don't say that only water only liquid no any substance which is flowing is called a as a fluid this is very very important question uh, based for a mechanical engineer or any engineering remember they will ask you what is a fluid you simply you should you should answer sir any substance which can flow is called as a fluid and that but that particular fluid is in which state it will be in liquid state and it will be in gaseous state as i already told you now these liquids 
state and gaseous states are considered as fluid then sir what are the examples water oil okay and anything any any fluid any substance which is flowable you understand flowable flowable means which can flow which can flow easily all right okay so any fluid any liquid any gaseous substances which is flowing from one place to other which you are seeing in your day to day life are all called as fluids okay now sir actually for for example water water actually is used to generate electricity and everybody know so how from water electricity is generated uh, you will study in detailed uh, in power plant engineering and uh, you study in detail in your coming semesters but water actually i give you a very simple example now how water is converted into electricity you know if if i uh, boil water what will happen steam will be generated you understand steam steam will be generated and that steam is collected okay and that steam actually with the help of the steam uh, we talk, we are talking about steam generator okay with the help of that steam now that particular uh, and in this particular hydroelectric power plant and the thermal power plant you see there are different types of power plants where powers are generated nuclear power plant uh, thermal power plant uh, hydroelectric power plant where electricity is generated but the raw materials are different in hydroelectric power plant the water is used in thermal power plants are also water is used now water is used as a coolant why i am saying these all examples are these all are fluids we consider water oil uh, petrol diesel uh, anything which which is flowable all these are fluids okay now water is used as a coolant sir what is coolant coolant means is coolant means it cools a surface i hope uh, you might have seen in a car uh, maybe you might have seen or not there is a radiator okay radiator box where water your water actually you are putting it if the car engine is becoming uh, heated up uh, you are using coolant in the form of water i think you have seen it or not uh, when you are working on a lathe mission the work piece is uh, a metal and the work piece is a metal on which you are going to do a work and the tool with which you are cutting the work piece that is also a metal when two metals comes in contact with each other heat is generated okay if you if you are not trying to cool that particular interface that means when both are touching with each other if you are not cooling it properly ultimately what will happen is the work piece will get damaged or the tool will get damaged it will become blunt you understand white coolant you might have not seen because uh, in our college we don't have that provision but when you go to big industries uh, what happens is when big jobs are when 24 into 7 every minute every second waste machine is being run when it is running for 24 into 7 heat is generated so in order to uh, suppress or in order to decrease the heat that is generated between two metals that is the tool as well as the work piece we are using coolant coolant means to decrease the temperature so in nuclear power plants the heat that is dissipated dissipated means the heat that is generated is much more higher if you don't use the water as a coolant ultimately what will happen is uh, there there may be some accident in the nuclear power plant if there is an accident in the nuclear power plant you know how much it is dangerous for a human being so oil is also used as a lubricant i'll say one more good example almost all of you you are using this particular two wheeler uh, you are using this uh, petrol diesel you are using uh, engine oil engine oil i'm talking about engine oil is used as a lubrication and you are putting that engine oil uh, inside the particular uh, engine for a lubrication lubrication means so inside the engine you you find the different component those the different components when they come in contact with each other friction is developed 
you see when you are walking with your slippers after one year or two years your slipper the sole of the slipper gets damaged why uh, that means it, it, when you buy your shoe or slippers the sole was thick thick in nature but after one year and two years what will happen the sole becomes thin and thin that is due to friction similarly when this engine inside a engine the comp the component when they are coming in contact with each other due to friction what will happen is uh, there is a wear and tear so in order to lubricate these internal components of the engine we are using this particular engine oil and when i am talking about this particular oil in for lubrication of automobiles i am talking about this uh, which oil Engine oil. Engine oil. I hope all of you are getting. Yes, sir. I hope I am not boring you. No, sir. Yes. Yeah. Next is, you see, sir, about the notes. Again, I am saying you, notes is not an important thing. I'll give you one more thing. Whenever I am putting this slide, you can take a screenshot of this. I know you know all of you know how to take screenshot in your mobile. Okay, uh, you can take a screenshot or you can take a, uh, already the video I will share with you. By seeing the video, you can take down the notes. Notes you have to make it by yourself. Sir, uh, I am not going to make it. You see, you have time with you. Please try to make it by yourself. Still, if you want, uh, I'll give you the notes. But uh, that is not going to help you. If I do everything, if I do spoon feeding, everything, if I do spoon feeding, uh, that is a disadvantage to you only, not me. So think about it. So what is fluid mechanics? As I already told you, uh, it is a branch of science as we have already studied, uh, where the fluids, we are studying the behavior of the fluid, which is in the state of motion or state of rest state of motion means it is fluid dynamics state of rest means it is fluid uh, statics we are talking about fluid because we are in the subject fluid mechanics forget about hydraulic machine fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines hm mission part will come later on after completion of the three modules okay now fluid mechanics is that study of fluids which is at motion study of fluids which is at rest motion or rest very simple so whether the fluid is at rest or whether the fluid is at motion okay so how to know it is subjected to different forces okay and different climatic condition okay and when you apply a force how the fluid is behaving if i put under a particular environment under a particular climatic condition how the fluid is behaving that is what we are studying here you see <laughs> i'll give you a very simple example you take a fluid with you that is uh, water or you take petrol okay petrol you take 1 liter of petrol uh, without covering you take 1 liter of petrol in a particular container okay and you leave open what will happen to the petrol can anyone say don't close the lid you open it and leave for one hour or half an hour what will happen yes you can answer sir bas pe upar ho jayega ha that is that means you might have seen or not whenever you are filling the petrol okay uh, uh, you see Uh, petrol is volatile in nature if you keep it in open ultimately it will vaporize that is the most okay so these are all things so uh, when i keep it open when i keep it under a pressure of the uh, what you can say uh, for example you take a uh, tank and uh, or you take a bottle and you put petrol in it and you apply a pressure of uh, what you can say 50 bars on that particular bottle which is filled with petrol 
So how actually it is going to behave? So here, why we are here to study fluid mechanics is how that particular fluid, fluid means what? Liquid or gaseous. Liquid or gas. How that fluid is going to behave? Then what is a fluid? Fluid is a substance which is easy to flow. Which is easy to flow. Now, those fluids under different conditions, how actually these fluids are behaving? That is the study of fluid mechanics. Okay. And already I told you, uh, basing on the three aspects, we are, we are studying this fluid mechanic, that is statics, kinematics, and dynamics. Next, uh, already you know what is fluid statics. Again and again, I'm not repeating. Uh, I have already told you what is fluid statics. The fluid, which is in the, again and again, I'm saying, don't uh, try to have a misconcept that fluid is uh, liquid. No. Fluid means liquid as well as gaseous state. So the fluid which is in the state of rest is called as static fluid which is in the state of rest is called as a static fluid and that study is called as fluid static and what is fluid kinematics as a what is fluid kinematics fluid kinematics means already i told you what is the kinematics yeah the fluid which is in the state of motion hmm. is called as moving fluid that means that particular fluid is moving now, how that fluid is moving? It is due to the effect of external pressures. Now, if these external pressures which you are applying on this particular fluid, these external pressures which you are applying on the fluid, if you are not considering it, remember, without considering means that force, that pressure, external pressure, which is responsible for the movement of this fluid, you are not considering it, that particular pressure, you are not considering it, that particular study is called as the fluid dynamics. I hope you understood. Fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics means, here this is a branch of science where you will include everything. That means you will include external pressure, that means External pressure means what I'm talking is due to this external pressure, this is the movement of the fluid or the fluid is moving. Okay, so uh, how, this, how this particular fluid is um, moving uh, from one place to other? That if that study, what are the physical properties of the fluid, uh, what different types of physical properties is getting changed? when you are applying this particular external pressure. Okay, so all these studies, that means in case of fluid kinematics, we are not considering this external pressure, which is responsible for the fluid to move. In case of fluid dynamics, we consider all the pressures, including the external pressure on the moving fluid. So that is that study is called as Fluid dynamics. Okay. Next slide is the first two three classes. Maybe uh, you might have say you you will be facing a little bit both, but when it comes to problematic point, it will be a little bit of interesting. But still, you should learn the concepts. Why why you study fluid mechanics? It's, it's given in a very very simple language. Okay. You can see. See why you are studying this particular fluid mechanics. Now, what is the necessity of studying this fluid mechanics in engineering? Because this particular fluids are very, very important in our day-to-day -day life. And in your day-to-day -day life, there are different kinds of fluids which are uh, coming into picture. Maybe from morning when you get up when you get up in the morning till night, you come across different kinds of fluid. Okay. So, engineering. Why you are studying engineering? Because if you study engineering, you can explore, you can find, you can discover, you can invent 
different types of things. So that means um, which type of fluid is better for which application? What are the functions of the fluid? Why? What is? What are the functions of petrol? Why we are using petrol and diesel only? Why don't you we use water instead of petrol? Why driving a vehicle that is car or uh, a motorbike? So these all things, these all things which will come into picture, and this is a part of fluid mechanics. Now, let me give uh, some more examples. There are some fluids which can be burned. Examples uh, which produces a lot of heat. That when you burn a fluid, it produces heat. Okay, and. Those examples of those fluids are petrol and diesel. Petrol and diesel, you know, it can be burnt. Okay, when you burn petrol, it produces heat. That means somebody has done that experiment. That means after burning petrol, he has done an experiment and he has calculated if I burn one liter of petrol, how much heat is generated? What is the specific heat of petrol? What is the specific density of petrol? These all comes under fluid mechanics. That is why I'm saying it is much more important why we are studying fluid mechanics. And and there are some fluids when you burn it, they are producing heat. And there are some fluids like oil, which has the tendency to exert high pressure. Right. Hydraulic, I, uh, I know you might have seen, uh, maybe you might have seen this uh, automatic door, lo uh, door, uh, door closer. Have you seen? When you open a door, no need of closing it. You simply leave it, it will automatically close. Have you seen those? Yes, sir. That is, you have seen on the upper side, there is one small, uh, you can say, uh, a mechanical device that is hydraulic, you have seen it or not. That means it is working by there is some hydraulic oil. Very, very simple, I'll say. In shock observer, you have seen in your bikes, you have shock observer. In the front, you have a shock observer. Inside the shock observer, there is a shock observing oil. Is that lubricating oil if you are not putting it or if you are not properly maintaining it? Your shock observer will get damaged. So that is what I'm saying. See, when you're going at 80 km per hour in your bike, suddenly a speed breaker has come. Okay. But uh, if you suddenly apply the brake, uh, you will fall down, you will skid. Then what you will do is, you will go through that particular speed breaker. So that particular pressure that has been created by the speed breaker on your bike and on that particular person who is sitting on the bike, that pressure, who is absorbing it? Who is absorbing it? The shock absorber is absorbing it. Are you all understanding? So that shock absorber, how it is able to absorb? Because there is an oil. That oil is called as hydraulic oil. Is this clear? All of you. Are you all there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please yes, answer. Yes, sir. I thought you all, you all of you slept, huh? If it is boring, I can stop. Next is some fluids. They have excellent flow properties, which can be used for lubrication also. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, uh, we are trying to study why this particular fluid mechanics is important. Mm, we are studying the properties of the fluid. And in your day-to-day -day life, we have seen all these things. Okay. There are some fluids which can flow very easily. Now, 
fluids like water uh, you know water is a fluid which has uh, high which has kinetic energy which has potential energy that is why uh, that is why water is used to generate electricity in hydroelectric power plant so you cannot say blindly that sir why water is used this is the reason because water is a fluid which has high kinetic energy and high potential energy let me ask you a question one person from you is holding a bottle of water please mute yourself one person is holding a bottle of uh, petrol okay you try to uh, put it uh, on the floor which will flow easily so the water water because that is what because it has more kinetic energy and potential energy there is one more thing about the molecules the atoms that is a different thing okay but fluid mechanics is actually trying to uh, help us to study the behavior of that particular fluid under different atmospheric conditions under different uh, uh, forces how this particular different fluids are behaving okay now this is this particular study is also used in other three branches of engineering other two mm -hmm. including mechanical that is civil and chemical okay so because in these three branches of engineering fluids are of much more use okay shall we stop here it is 3 o'clock okay